Videos where everything is in focus gives you a sense of the right now, like the news. Smartphones are perfect for this because they always keep everything in focus, no matter how far away the background might be, even miles away. And people sometimes do videos like this in an effort to spice up their message. Usually what happens, though, is that an audience becomes more interested in the landscape than the message, and you end up with a pretty but contentless video. In other words, the landscape becomes the message. That's why Apple always advertises their new cameras by taking them to Antarctica or the top of some mountain range where breathtaking vistas are supposed to prove how good the camera is. But think about it. Any old camera can give you a breathtaking shot if you focus it on a breathtaking landscape. And yet, spaciousness is incredibly helpful in your videos if you use it correctly. They feel more professional, they communicate style and substance and authority. You just have to create them in a way that doesn't lose your audience in the process. And the good news is that you can give your audience that same sense of spaciousness in a very small space. Just defocus the background. When the background fades away, a viewer relaxes into your message and can really absorb it along with the emotion that drives that message, more like movies. It just makes sense that if someone isn't being distracted by all the stuff that's going on around you, it's easier for them to take in your words. I have to admit, I do this in almost all my videos, primarily by using green screen. But if you don't want to do green screen all the time, it would still like to give your audience this effect. You can learn how to use a DSLR camera or now you can use a smartphone. This video is being shot by a smartphone, even with a background that's so close I can touch it. On today's Visible Authority, we'll look at a piece of equipment that will allow you to create space where there was no space before. I chose a bookshelf full of books to illustrate this idea because for video, a library can be the ultimate distraction machine. No matter how long your video is, your viewer could spend the entire time just reading all the titles of the books. And that's the end of your message. Welcome to The Visible Authority, where people come to learn to match their message to their market. Today, we're going to turn this smartphone into a movie camera that gives you that elusive, shallow depth of field. We'll need three extra pieces of equipment to do it, a lens, a depth of field adapter, and something to hold them all in place. We'll use this Rokinon 85mm Prime Cine Lens, the Beast Grip Depth of Field Adapter, Mark II, and the Beast Grip Pro Universal Camera Rig to hold everything in place. And now we're going to use this iPhone 7 Plus for the camera, but it works with the, you know, the camera rig will work with any brand of smartphone. So let's get started. Let's put this all together. So we start by looking at the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the rig here. It comes with a little rubber piece here that you just sort of adjust around in place uh, so that it aligns with the camera phone or it aligns with the phone. Sorry, it aligns with the camera with the phone. See how this one is sort of vertically aligned like that? And so we're just going to slide the camera in so that these two align like that. And very simple. Just put it in like this. Then turn it around to make sure that um, the camera is indeed lined up with that little rubber piece. And there we go. Now the camera's all ready to go. It's all set. So the next thing we do is take our depth of field adapter, take the covers off, and screw it into place on the other side, like so. Easy peasy. Don't over tighten it. Next, we take our lens 
take all the covers off and um, then we'll screw the lens onto the depth of field adapter. Now this particular depth of field adapter comes with a Canon EF mount, as does the lens, and so they fit perfectly. And now we're ready to you know, launch the software and get going with this, with this uh, our new little movie camera. Then you just straighten out the adapter screen. The depth of field adapter is very much like a film projector. It actually projects a movie onto the lens of your smartphone and your smartphone then films that movie. In fact, just like a real movie, it's being filmed upside down. So we fire up Filmic Pro, go to the hardware section and tell it to flip the screen. Then keeping it in auto mode, we focus on something using the lens then lock in the focus on the smartphone. And now we're ready to use the system. In the end, you may decide that going with a DSLR is a simpler choice for your company, but now you have options. If you like the idea of shooting with a smartphone and you don't like the idea of spending thousands and thousands of dollars outfitting a DSLR to shoot movies, this might be just the ticket to make your videos more engaging and your message more effective and all the links to all the equipment that we talked about are right below this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Visible Authority.